not enough. Dad, can you make me something? <gasps> Let's make something. Oh, yeah. So the little man wants me to make him an arc reactor prop for Halloween that he can wear. First thing I need to do is create a pattern in Illustrator and then cut that pattern out. So I use that for the basis of the arc reactor. So I'm just using some spray adhesive here on the back of an old DVD case that I'm going to cut that pattern out of. It's kind of an awkward pattern to cut. So we're drilling all the holes first on the drill press. One problem with this though is because the drill press is moving pretty fast, it's melting the plastic and kind of chewing some things up. He did a pretty good job drilling out the holes, but there is some cleanup to do still. Once all the holes are drilled out, little man is using the scroll saw to cut out the center pattern here. He did a pretty good job. But because of how the drill press chewed up the plastic, there's quite a bit of cleanup to do just to make it a little bit smoother and a little bit more presentable for the camera. The main light that we're using for the arc reactor is a puck light that we've taken apart it has a motion sensor in the middle, so we don't have to worry about any wiring or any switches. We're also using a three inch pipe cap, PVC pipe cap, a couple keychain rings, and some plastic cable holders. Some vinyl tubing, and a sink strainer. First thing we're gonna prep is the center of the arc reactor. The first thing I'm doing is cutting off the bottom of the steel sink strainer that'll be used to wrap around the center of a key ring for keys. I plan on using some super glue to kind of attach the two together, but it turns out it didn't hold that well, and it worked better just to wrap the steel mesh around the keychain anyways, and it held really well. With that done, a little bit of super glue held it right in place, and we have an outer ring that'll go right around that part. And then our cutout pattern will circle around everything. With the PVC cap sprayed black, I'm now wrapping the PVC tubing around the edge and this kind of represents the outer part of the arc reactor. The vinyl tubing bends really easily, but there was a challenge in how to bend it around and get it to connect to itself. The method I tried worked, but it probably could have been a little bit better and if I ever make this again, I'll change it up. I had cut out a part of the end of the vinyl tubing so it would actually slide into itself. But because the connection wasn't that strong, it bent a little bit and didn't make as perfect as a circle as I would have liked. With the vinyl tubing now connected to itself, I can now start placing the cable clamps over the top that's going to give it that sectioned off appearance that you see in the movies. These are just basic plastic cable clamps. You can get them from any big box store. Just try to make sure you find the ones that are the right size for whatever you're using for that outer ridge. And before I attach the tube and the light to the bottom part of the PVC cap, there are three straight pieces that go from the outer edge to the center. People have made them out of different materials. I decided to make it out of the same material that I used for the outer pattern, and that is just some plastic from a DVD case. It's fairly easy to cut, but it is kind of hard to cut straight. And these are going to be attached with some small hex screws that go into the outer pattern and then get glued to the center ring. And with those three attached, the outer part is done. It's tricky getting everything to kind of stay together. The only thing that really worked was a lot of hot glue. Hot glue is a great way to get everything to stick together, but it is kind of messy and it didn't give it as clean of a look as I wanted. If I ever make this again, which I actually might, I might look at doing it. I might look at using a different method. The last part of this is using copper wire to wrap around the cable clamps to give it kind of that look that a motor has when you look at the copper windings on a motor. I had some old speaker wire that I was trying to use, but it just did not hold that well. I don't have it filmed, but what I ended up using instead that worked a lot better was copper mesh or copper wick that's used for soldering. It's flat and about two strands work better in wrapping around the area that I needed.
The last part of the build was a little bit of a rush. I was actually finishing it on Halloween, right before Little Man needed it for his costume. So I didn't get the last part filmed with everything together. These last holes that I'm putting in are to hold two zip ties that are holding an elastic strap that he's gonna be able to wear around his chest under a shirt. Now that I have the light set inside, these four screws on the outer side, make sure that the light won't fall out. And then the cable clamps will tie down to those screws. There, it's finally done. Hey dad, tell me put it on. No, I need to make sure it's safe. Yeah! 